All right, so this is kind of putting me on the spot. Uh, okay. I know that you were sending out this out not only to everyone that listens to this, but to your own district. So I'm coming there to speak to your staff. If that's a successful opening day, um, what does that look like for me? Like, how can I best serve your community? You know, I think we always need to focus on challenging the status quo. I really think um, we get entrenched in our patterns of thinking. I think we default to what we're comfortable with. Mm-hmm. But I think we as colleagues, as school sites, as individuals, should always be asking ourselves questions. And the questions we should ask is, is this the best way to make the connections so that our kids can own that learning? So I I find that that is such a healthy conversation for us Mm -hmm. to just say that just because we've done it that way doesn't mean it's the best way to do it. And now let's spend some time thinking through our assumptions, our traditions, and challenge some of that to engage kids in different ways than we have. Um, So I, I hope coming out of that, that teachers are inspired to have those conversations and engage in the work of um, asking, is there a better way that we can make those connections is are there assumptions that the you know prime example is the best way to teach to spend six weeks teaching every lesson you know i do we do you do and then at the end we give them a test Mm -hmm. which is really at the core is an assessment of how well we did our job but the focus we give is oh we're going to show you how poorly you did your job and ask the question is this the best way to engage our kids so I, Anith, initially at this point, um, that is definitely uh, important. And I, I think um, the start of a year is an opportunity for us to rega- uh, re-engage in the heart of why we do this job, right. because it can beat you down and you can start worrying more about how many years I have till retirement and what do I have to do to get there? which is just a recipe for disaster, right? It's that, it's that marathon focus on the, you know, the, the pain. And instead of thinking, you know, what a, what a unique opportunity we have to do this job that will last far beyond us. And in ways that we never could have anticipated for, for the next generation. 